Hello everyone, it's Enter the Metrics here with my wife, and we have a very interesting video today. We unboxed previously of History Pack 1, and I said I wasn't going to do any more, but I got a really good deal at my local game. So, um, I actually have two History Pack 1s to unbox, and two more boxes of Outsiders to unbox. So it's going to have some a bunch of videos coming, but we're going to start out with just this one. This is going to be a History Pack 1. Um, you know, the last one we had on the channel, it wasn't anything that was like broke home or anything, but, um, the value is going up pretty high. So, um, it'd be cool to grab some good cards. I've got my wife here with me today. This is going to help me. I've got the dog here. Hopefully he'll be quiet. <laughs> He's running around with a cone on his head from a certain procedure that involves balls. All right, these are smaller packs, so be careful. Uh, yeah, they're actually a lot thinner than the uh, previous packs. They are plastic packs too, and you guys know, not really a fan. Oh, I got it without scissors so. though. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't. I got. I'm, it's good. I got it. All right, so we're gonna start out here. These are the white border history pack one cards. I am gonna go through them for the sake because there are a lot of packs in this box, and we're gonna hope we get some really good pools here. First rare is going to be Stir the Aether Winds. It's a good card. And then Disable. Let's see. Put them here. Okay. Yes, yeah, these, so these are only 10 cards per pack in here. But I think there's 36 packs in the, the box total. So it's actually going to be a lot more opening than we've done previously. And there are no foils or anything in this one. So, uh, but there still are um, legendaries. And some good equipment and... Just good uh, staple cards. Crane Dance, first rare. Star Response, second. We're hoping to pull, um, you know, obviously good Majestics. But um, some Legendaries would be cool. Some equipment. Alright. Go through here. Steel Blade Shunt. This is a cool card. And then Plunder Run Blue. If you guys haven't seen our video we posted um, this morning, well, I guess um, when you guys see this video, it'll probably be much later, so it wouldn't even be fair to reference it. And I do like that we're getting um, some hero tokens in there in the white border. Reaping Blade, Savage Feast. So just rare so far. I do expect these to go... A few packs at least in here to have something good. I know we're going to get some Majestics. So it's being difficult. These packs were definitely not tampered with. <laughs> they are super sealed up. Alright. First Majestic of the box. We've got Ancestral Empowerment. That's a pretty cool card. And then Centauri Saber. It's rare. Some of those rare equipment uh, isn't as valuable. Um, the majestic equipment, some of it's okay. The legendary stuff are going to be what's really hot in this box. Which is going to be good for me because I actually traded some trade fodder to get all of these boxes. And it's a really good deal. Oath of the Ark Knight, Rushing River. Not spending the time to separate all of these into the normal piles that I would do just for the sake of the video. Normally, I would have it spread out, you know, uh, you have your commons and then rares and everything would be in a separate pile. But right now, I'm just kind of tossing through it. Lesson in Lava, the second majestic of the box. This is pretty cool. Kano Specialization. That's pretty awesome. And then Spellblade Assault. I haven't played a wizard yet, but I do have pretty much what I need to play Kano. I don't have any Command and Conquer or anything. That would be cool. It'd be cool to pull that out of here. Or Art of War. We like, uh, I like those. Oath of the Ark Knight again. A blue. And Take Aim. Pretty good card right now. Azalea being so popular. It's funny because Azalea came out and... Um, 
Nobody played her. They said she was pretty bad. And now the new set Outsiders came out. Not everybody wants to play Azalea. High Speed Impact, first rare. Barraging Beatdown, second. Alright, we're going to go through here. Aether Sync, first rare. Take aim, second. I'm going to have some technical difficulties in the background here. I'm going to have to kick the dog out of the, the studio for a minute. Bear with any background noise and lighting. Alright, we're going to go through here. Crazy Brew. That's awesome. This is our third Majestic of the Box, and this is a good one. I haven't pulled a Crazy Brew yet in any of my packs. First one, Tower and Titan. Thank you for taking care of that. Oh. We were having some technical difficulties. Our dog had some surgery, and he typed up on some pain meds, and he just thought it would be a good idea to start making a bunch of noise while we're recording a video. You know how dogs are. Ooh, another Majestic. We have Become the Arc Knight. This is a Rune Blade. That's pretty good. Seems like Rune Blades are getting uh, Living Legends faster than any other class. So, I don't know how much you'll get to play that card before the hero gets Living Legends. But, hey, if you're playing Rune Blade, probably a really good card. These white border cards are pretty cool. I do like them. The more I look at them, I'm like, man, I, I do want to build a, like, a whole deck of white border. That'd be cool. Start the Aether Winds, Barraging, Beatdown. Some good cards in here, too. These are, a lot of these are staples. Like, you could use these in, across a lot of heroes, a lot of different platforms. These are pretty valuable. And recently, I've seen a shift where the white border cards are actually coming higher value than the black border counterpart which is crazy mauvry on sky so on rune blade action life for life and we do have another history pack to open after this so um it's it's gonna get pretty crazy be on the lookout for that on the channel we've been pulling some spice in some of the boxes we've been open lately so, we hope to keep that trend going. Chanting Melody. And then Edge of Autumn. You know, I think some of these, uh, the History Pack might even be responsible for making um, some of the value of those rare equipment go down because it was a little more common in the History Pack. But that's okay. Because it is cool to have like a white border version of the equipment. Especially if it's something you're playing as you guys are keeping up with some of these cards I'm, I'm sifting through, you can see there's staples right there in the common slot. We just don't have enough time to go through everything. Chain Lightning. So this will be the fifth Majestic of the box so far. That's awesome with another Edge of Autumn. Pretty cool. So doing pretty good on Majestics so far. Still have a lot of packs to open. So maybe we'll get... Even luckier. Another, here we go. Majestic Perch Grapplers, Ranger Equipment. That's awesome. Barraging Beatdown. So we've got six Majestics so far. I'm not keeping up with how many packs we've opened so far, but I know we're about a little right at halfway or a little over and halfway, and it just seems crazy to me to have that many Majestics. Reduced a rune chant, first rare, and then Russian River. And that beautiful white dash token that was in there. You know that's... I don't want to hang on to that. Goliath Gauntlet, that was actually a good common. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What is it? Oh, we have a legendary Storm Striders. That is awesome. This box is telling me definitely to hop on some Kano. That's awesome. That's amazing. White Border Storm Striders. 
Blessing of Deliverance is the second. So the box so far has delivered well. I'm actually going to separate that. We have, we're at the six Majestics and a Legendary. So this is amazing so far. Oops, trying to open it backwards. Oh, it had me flustered, I guess. Uh, now I can't. I'm fumbling the pack and I can't get it open. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure the value of that, but I know it's that's amazing to have um, just to build a wizard deck. Oh, come on. This one, right after that, this pack decided that it wanted to lock itself up like Fort Knox. So, sorry about that. Got it. Here we go. Jump right in. Can we pull another legendary? You think we can? Maybe like we still have a lot of packs to go through. Barraging Beatdown, Warrior's Valor. I think we might be able to. We do have another box as well, but you know, obviously, we pull a legendary in that box. That's its own thing. We pull two in this one. That would be really amazing. I doubt that'll happen though, honestly. But you know, let's manifest it to existence. Springboard Somersault, that's a great card. Pedal to the Metal. It's awesome. I'd like to get some like tech locals, um, some more mechanologist uh, rare, uh, rares, majestics, if you will. There's a few that I, I just like to have extras of. I'm pretty much good on what I have what I need, but breakneck battery, enchanting melody. Really cool box so far. This is pretty awesome. I mean, honestly, this is just with these Majestics and that Legendary. That's what you'd expect from a typical box already, and we still have packs to open. These History Packs are pretty good value. Um, can't really draft it. Not really set this made for just drafting, but if you're trying to collect and add some cool cards, to, this is the way to do it. Are just building decks because there's so many staples in here and the prices are going up so I, I i don't know if it's going to be as good of a value um over time right now i'd say it's pretty good to jump on it it's still decent time snap potion and a spell blade assault I was not expecting to pull those Storm Striders. That's crazy. I think the Tunic is the most valuable legendary in the box, but I'm pretty sure that those Storm Striders are up there. They might have paid for this box, essentially. Ooh, never seen this before. Majestic Mugenshi Release Katsu Specialization. This is probably going to be really good because... Um, the new Outsiders box released just a bunch of stuff for Katsu, kind of like give them some more beef to him. So that's really cool. I'm, I'm curious about that. Then an Arena's Prayer. Thank you. Guys, uh, let us know in the comments below if you've opened the History Pack 1. If you pulled that, um, if you've pulled a Storm Striders, just in general. I feel like that's a good card to pull. Three of a kind. Here is a great card. Ranger, Majestic. That is amazing. This box so far, <laughs> it's popping. And um, funny thing is, is I kind of cleaned out my LGS of Outsiders. I, I got everything they had. Um, he was happy to, happy to make the deal with me but uh, you know I gave him some some inventory that very specific stuff he would like but um yeah I cleaned him out uh, he's gonna have to order some more because where else am I gonna get it right there's a Kano so we'll be building definitely building a Kano in white border it's gonna be amazing blackout kick and snatch And we are getting actually closer to the bottom of the box. I, I, this is pretty good. So we're getting through. We're burning through here fast. That's good. I think 
I'm getting enough of these white border mechanologist cards that I might really be able to replace my dash deck pretty much with white mostly. Plus no deliverance. But I am curious to try and just like, you know, putting that one white card in there where you have a you can pitch and you have like a identifier, a legal identifier in your deck to know that you've cycled through. That could create some strategies. I don't know if I'd think that far ahead, but you know, it could could be cool. Find center, majestic. That's cool. It's saying this box is saying wizard ninja guys. Cindering foresight. Wizard ninja. I have played some ninja. I enjoy ninja. I haven't played Katsu. I played Fi and um I played um Azuri, but that's assassin, but same thing, kind of. Assassin's kind of like the advanced class or uh, mandible claw. Blackout kick. So where are we at? We got oh we have we still have a couple more. We have five packs left. Five packs left after this one. Thanks for sticking with us, guys. And, you know, once you pull the storm striders, it's kind of like, oh well, that was the box, right? You know. We aren't expecting to pull any... Oh, my goodness. Tome of Fandal. There's a good pull. So we are getting some... Still getting some good pulls. Yeah. Some Majestic. Some, so far, I've, I've lost count of the Majestics. We're going to have to... Yeah. We're going to have to recount everything before the video is over. I'm, I should have enough time to give you guys a quick recap of what we pulled. Maybe I'll start um, trying to get that in every video and add in a timestamp so you guys could skip me actually going through these cards. Aether Spindle. Pedal to the Metal. All right. Yeah, we're definitely, um, this is definitely a very good box. Um, super excited. Tari Saber, Potion of Strength, and I'm going to have a bunch of leftover um, common bulk and, and white border, so that's really, really exciting. Also, maybe I'll actually be able to build out a full white border deck. Hmm. Zen State, that's cool. Breakneck Battery. Arena's Prayer. I think we have two more. Yeah, that one and then one more. I mean, it could these could be stinkers, and the box was still amazing. This is this has been a pretty good box. Easily a nine out of ten box. Let's see if we can get a ten out of ten in these next last few packs. Can we do it? Huh, another majestic, crippling crush. Now that's really more for Bravo. Bravo specialization. I think you could still play Bravo and Blitz, but Bravo is Living Legend and you, Bravo's banned. Well, not banned, but he's Living Legend. You can't play him in comps, tournaments, or anything. Last pack. Last pack of the box. It went to a 9.5. Can we make it a 10? Oh, skipped over. 0 to 60. It's a great card. Don't want to skip it. Aether Spindle. Spellblade Assault. So I think we're going to end on a 9.5 with this box. Amazing box. We've got, uh, you want to grab me a sleeve? I'll sleeve this up. People are probably watching this going, oh my God, he sleeved the Storm Striders. Sleeve the Storm Striders. I feel you guys. I feel you. We did get some Storm Striders, which is going to be an amazing pool. And then we got Crippling Crush. Tome of Fandal, Find Center, Three of a Kind, Mugenshi Release, Perch Grapplers, Chain Lightning, Become the Arc Knight, Crazy Brew, Lesson in Lava, and Ancestral Empowerment. So we got a pretty good box there. Sorry for all the background noise right now. Um, yeah, that was a fantastic box. A 9.5, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting to open another box of History Pack on the channel. 
and I definitely was not expecting to pull some Storm Striders out of it. So, big bonus here. Two thumbs way up. Shout out to Sizz Gaming. Um, you hooked me up here, and I appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications, and let us know in the comments if you want to see more Outsiders, if you want to see Magic, whatever you want. Let us know what you guys want. Thank you. Signing out. Have a good one.